Bowie Super Coach coming to you this morning with what I'm hearing around the grounds towards low stock levels and a lot of reluctance when we're prospecting around owners coming to the market. Look, I understand that this is objectively true in some markets. We're down 30% year on year. However, that just means we either need to do two things. One, increase our market share for that particular geography or expand your geography. There's no use continuing to play a game you can't win. What I mean by that is if there are only 30 sales that are occurring in your marketplace every year and you're hoping to get 50% market share, well, that's not gonna design a business that will be sustainable or will help you achieve your goals. So expand your geography. Don't be so myopic towards one particular area or one particular suburb. Look at what the buyer origin is. So if you're focusing on one core market, what is the market where buyers are actually purchasing into that market? Where is the origin? What is the suburb? Focus on that particular suburb so you can design deals that will suit all parties involved. Look, another thing we need to do is stop the story in our head and change our language around market's slow, stock is down, no one wants to come onto the market. Look, I get it, we are in a, a part of the industry or a part of the market cycle where stock is down. And I understand that because we've got owners we're talking to and we're servicing really well. We're calling them and we're saying, look, you know, the market is performing really well. The bottom is behind us. How do we know that? Because despite being down year on year, 12% in pricing, the last 30 days, we've seen a 1.4% uplift in pricing in Sydney. So that tells us the bottom is behind us. So this is a really good piece of data that you can quote through CoreLogic and advise people that there's nothing to wait for. Look, I get that there's a lot of clients that say, but where would I go? There's nothing on the market. And that then becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and feeds into even less stock because there's owners saying, well, if I sell, where do I go? So what we need to do is break the pattern, and I've seen this happen many times before. The best way to break the pattern is to ask the client, look, if you were to sell and if you were to find the right property, would I be the appropriate agent for you? Great, all right, if that's the case, let's get the documentation signed up, let's get photos done, and let's get a contract prepared, and allow me to show you a few properties that I think might suit you, and even if you're not in a position to buy them, you can at least be exposed and get an appetite for the type of property that might suit you. So that could be a really good step. The other thing we could do is have a conversation around settlement period. So talk to your client and say, look, one thing I do know is I'd rather be a buyer than a seller in three months time. Why? Because there's inevitably gonna be more stock available. And what we can do is look at a three, four month settlement, even five month settlement. There's a lot of owners that just don't understand that that could be a viable option for them. So it's really important that we break this cycle of low stock by having more intimate conversations with our clients and also solving problems, actually looking at what is the issue and rather than selling, go into solve mode and work with this client to walk further their propensity to come onto the market. There's no need to wait. This is a perfect market to or sell. And not only that, I've got a very good friend who's a mortgage broker and what they're telling me is that pre through the roof, there's so many people that are approved now and looking to actually buy and they're just waiting for that stock to come onto the market. The All the brokers I'm talking to are saying they've never seen so many pre-approvals. So there's literally billions of dollars in loans just sitting there waiting to take the opportunity to purchase property as soon as it hits the market. You need to tell stories. You need to be compelling. You need to be comprehensive. You need to solve problems. You need to over-communicate. You need to get in front of people and let's break this cycle of a shortage of stock or look at expanding your geography. Double down on that. God bless, live with virtue. See you next time.